when we open up the plugin, this is what comes up. And if you've checked out Mini VCA before, this will probably look familiar. And while we have very standard compressor controls that should be easy to understand the intended results, I'm going to provide some brief explanation on how FET compressors differ from VCA compressors to give some insight into how these controls behave and react differently from a VCA compressor. While VCA designs have familiarized us with the kind of fine-grained and discrete behavior these controls can provide, before VCAs arrived on the scene to offer revolutionary precision and fidelity in the gain reduction path, FET compressors kind of bridged the gap between the slower photocell and tube compressor designs and the VCA designs that would come later. FET, Field Effect Transistor, as the name implies is a type of transistor that is used as the gain reduction element. And while the basic overview of gain reduction operation is similar in principle to VCAs, we will look at a few key differences of FET compressors compared to VCAs specifically. If we look at the two diagrams, we see a very similar concept. A block with in-out terminals where signal is allowed to flow, and a third pin that modulates the gain reduction. Now the VCA completes this task more like how we might expect a computer to facilitate this. The control voltage can be virtually uninfluenced by the input signal's voltage entirely in this design, giving a feed-forward ability. The control voltage equates to a specific gain reduction amount. This is then applied to the audio signal passing through the VCA. Now the transistor design we can look at more of as a channel. As the gate voltage changes, the channel narrows, constricting the flow of the signal through the transistor's in and out terminals, called the source and drain for technical accuracy. When used as a gain reduction element, FETs don't have the same availability of removing influence of the signal voltage from the gain reduction voltage. So as such, these compressors are inherently feedback type designs. So what then makes a FET compressor different from a feedback VCA design? The answer starts to lie in the visual analogy I used earlier. The ideal VCA is linearly applying gain reduction to the signal, while the ideal FET design is only capable of constricting or pinching the flow of signal. And maybe words are not a good illustration for this. We can see the effect of this behavior difference if we look at some compression ratio diagrams around a given threshold. We see the ideal VCA linear compression behavior around the threshold point. An ideal FET circuit yields much different results. The ratio basically just lowers the ceiling of what would be a limiter and compresses the sort of round knee about the transition region from a more linear to a limiting output. In its simplest form, a FET acts as a gate, hence the name of the gate terminal. Where the design uses the gate to either open or close the channel, but this simple sort of binary behavior has a smaller region we can exploit, the ohmic zone, where the transistor acts like a variable resistor, gradually closing the channel. Since this window deals with typically very small voltage fluctuations, adequate padding and then post-compression boosting is needed and often reduces the fidelity and creates additional nonlinear quirks. So what does all this mean? And feel free to let me know in the comments if you like or don't like this kind of technical overview stuff. So what does all this mean? The combination of input, threshold, and ratio controls do not discreetly impact individual aspects of the compression behavior, as we might expect from a VCA design. Instead, they work together providing a cumulative gain reduction result that can vary by a lot or only by a little. When we turn a single control, depending on how the other controls are set. So it is important to kind of use all three controls together to find the sweet spot. Since a softney is not applicable in this design, as the program-dependent nature already provides something similar to this, instead here we have a mode button which switches between a gentler compression mode and a more aggressive limiting mode maybe roughly akin to a British shawl buttons thing or whatever, right? And of course the three action types. 
For Minifet, we have Grab, Smash, and Crush. And while these modes may not be as radically different as the modes of Mini VCA, due to the more restrictive design topologies of FET compressors, they still provide a nuanced difference to the compression attack and release behavior and the frequency dependent compression behavior. And while these modes are not intended to simulate any models directly, various ADR and 1176 models or clones, as well as some classic Alltech Lansing designs, were all used for inspiration in Mini Fed. We have an analog inspired meter design, which doesn't necessarily strive for authentic realism as much as useful readout information tailored to help accentuate the differences in ballistics between the different action modes. And while the original version of Mini VCA attempted to consolidate the output gain compensation and input gain reduction into the same meter, both plugins have now been designed with a separate makeup gain indicator to help with level matching. The light is green when closely matched, yellow and then red when over, and the green becomes dimmer until it fades out completely when the output is below. The harmonic section features the same bass modes as Mini VCA, but adapted to showcase the smoother or hazier character we might expect from a more vintage compressor topology. When maxed out into the full unrealistic distortion, the results are much different than the more aggressive character of Mini VCA, making Mini Fet a great addition if you like to use this for more experimental sound design too. Two selectable transformers on the Plus version let you add some subtle character on the output for either a modern reissue type sound or a more vintage original tone. Dry wet mix where the dry signal is unaffected by any other gain staging controls. Here are some examples of how Mini Fet could be used in a mix. Minifet and Minifet Plus are available now. Plus Mini VCA and Mini VCA Plus have both been updated and are also available now. And both Plus versions are available in a bundle for even more savings on these creative tools. Already have Mini VCA Plus and want to upgrade? Just contact me for a custom discount and you'll only pay the difference. Take advantage of these time-limited savings before they're gone.